Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Brian Feridian. So, it's been a while since I did a shave video. I've been gone for about a week, week and a half on vacation. And just basically went on a cruise with my wife, uh, celebrating our 20th wedding anniversary. And also my birthday, which was last week. So, I miss you guys. It's great to see you guys again. I can't really see you guys, but I know you guys are there. And I want to thank you for watching my videos. But I'm back for another shave video, so... For tonight's shave, I'm gonna be using some new some new products. Um, I haven't I just recently obtained, and also a razor that I haven't really used, maybe once probably in the past. But I just took it out because I saw one of one of my viewers and one of the um, my fellow YouTuber tubers uh, wet shaver YouTuber um, uses certain uh, razor. So, but anyway, so my first thing I'm gonna be using my soap is gonna be this which is new to me, it's called First Line Shave Soap. So this is, this is actually made by a small artisan who happens to be a first responder, uh, Michael Rowley from uh, St. Louis. So he developed this soap for the, um, I believe for the sole purpose of trying to support the fallen members of first responders. And from what I saw from his website, Every soap that he sells, a dollar, dollar of the proceeds or profits goes toward um, benefiting those um, families of the fallen first responders. So this is a this is a new product to me. I guess got this at the last um, shave meetup I went to. So very very excited about trying this out. And this is the blue version. I think he makes about I think he makes two different versions of of um, artisan soap right now. So makes a red version and a, and a blue version so definitely excited about trying this out um, I'll leave the ingredients I really can't really can't see them on here but I'll try to leave the ingredients on my description below or I'll even have a screenshot if I can on the video but this will be my soap I'm using for my shave and the razor which is an interesting razor I haven't used in a while. It's going to be my Phoenix um, Artisan Accoutrements. It's the Open Comb Bake Light Slant Razor. So it's a three piece razor made out of Bake Light uh, plastic, or actually resin. It's not really plastic, but it's resin. But it's got the three piece, the top cap, bottom cap, and it's got the metal inside there as well as a post right here. So it's got a little, little bit of a little bit of um, metal with the razor. But believe it or not, this thing is pretty strong. This is about, I want to say 18 grams of weight. Pretty light, but the Bakelite itself is pretty durable. I believe they made this, made these type of razors. I think, I want to say Mercure made these in the past. And also this material has been around since the uh, turn of the century and it's been pretty actually it's been found to be pretty durable so so great great uh, material for a slant and it's definitely a slant as you can tell so I'm going to be trying this out and it's an open comb by the way and blade of choice will be my feather high stainless which, which is probably one of my top two blades right now like I like using right now so just a def just definitely a great sharp smooth blade and a little bit nervous because I'll be using it in the slant so this is a little bit of a different angle well actually it's the same you shave with the same down the same the same angle as you would for a traditional city razor but just the way that it's slanted it actually cuts a little bit more closer to your skin so but anyway use this razor and I'm using my, it's my um, AMAC Game Changer Synthetic Brush, which is a Game Changer Black uh, Synthetic Knot. So I believe this is like 24 millimeter, but this is my South Florida Wet Shavers version. So just a very, very nice brush. Great, great lather monster. 
this thing produces plenty of lather, so I'm excited about using this brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face, guys. I've got about two days worth of growth on my face, and I'm very excited about shaving this off. So let me go wash my face, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I just took a shower, washed my face, so my face is pretty hydrated for my shave. And I loaded my brush with the uh, first line soap. So let me go ahead and do that first face lather here. All right, so right off the bat, the scent is really strong. Pretty, pretty, pretty strong for a shave soap. And to me, it smells pretty dead on with a cool water cologne. It's got that cool water cologne type scent. All right, so as you can see, the lather is pretty easy to make with this brush. And the soap itself is pretty, is doing a good job of making a lot of lather also. So this soap's a beef tallow based soap. So it's not a vegan soap, but So it's definitely doing a great job of producing lather. So hopefully the performance will be nice. So let me do that first. So that should be good enough for the first pass right there. And as you can tell, it's pretty thick. It's got like a yogurt consistency to it. So, all right, so let me go do that first pass here with the grain. So I'm using my uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements um, Open Comb Baked Light Slant. And I got the uh, Feather Blade in there. This is like the second use of the blade. So, so it's the, one thing I the one thing I noticed is got these, which I really don't care for, are these tabs that come out like that. I kind of like the razors that kind of hide the tabs, but um, as you can tell, it's pretty evenly loaded up there. The blades are pretty evenly on both sides. So. All right, let's do that first pass. And with this razor, you don't want to use too much weight. You just want to use pretty much light touch and a little bit of finesse for it, for your shave. So definitely the feedback, you can hear the feedback. So that's like two days worth of worth of growth, so I was expecting that much feedback. Yeah, so I had a good time. I was on my cruise with my wife for about a week. Um, we did some pretty cool things. We went and uh, went and did some kayaking in Key West. That was one of the stops. Also check out some ruins in uh, Costa Maya, Mexico. And also had a chance to swim with the dolphins in Grand Cayman. And also visit the uh, sea turtle farm there, which is pretty cool. So that side was really, really great. Nice and nice and uh, smooth on that side. So the feather combination with this razor is working great. So I'll leave some pictures of my trip uh, right here. So, so definitely had a cool time.
So I've been on, first cruise we've been on in about 10 years. Without the kids, so that was a great, great treat. Just, just me and Mrs. Uh, Brian the Floridian. So off the bat, this razor does shave really close, so I'm trying to take my time on shaving. Yeah, definitely no weight with this razor. You don't need to apply any pressure, just minimal pressure. Because uh, human tendency is to push down with, a, with a, something this light, especially 18 grams. Which you don't need to do with this razor because you're just doing the work just with the uh, slant and the light touch. And also the feather blade is doing much of the work also. This is a pretty sharp blade. All right, nice pass, nice first pass. Got a little bit of nick right there. Just just now when I was going down across my chin, but other than that, pretty, pretty, pretty darn close first pass. All right guys, let me raise my face, guys. I'll be right back. All right guys, I'm back for my second pass. So normally I do a three pass shave when I do a safety razor shave, but this razor was pretty, actually shaved pretty darn close. I mean, it's almost baby bottom smooth with that first pass, so I'm gonna do probably a two pass shave with this and just call it a night, so. So what I'll do is I'll probably go across the grain of my neck and just go against the grain on the rest of my face here. So I was reading about Michael Riley. I guess he wanted, he's a wet shaver, first responder. I'm not sure what he does, if he's a police, law enforcement, or EMS, or paramedic, or, or firefighter, but I believe when he first started doing this, trying to um, start his business, he, he just, he's looking for an artist to make soap for his, uh, for his website, an art, you know, artists to make some soap for him to, so he can raise money to help these first responder families, and ended up getting into the soap making business himself. And I believe he's, I believe he handed out a, a bunch of samples and just trying to get his formulation right. And until he was sure it was just about right, he that's when he started really cranking out his business, selling soap. So. So he has a, I know he has a Facebook page and a website, so I'll try to leave that in the, in the links below. But man, this soap does lather really nice. And pretty, pretty good slickness also. It's kind of hard to feel the cushion because this razor is so, shaved so close, but the slickness and the the slickness and the lather is really 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 um on par with with a shave soap what it should be. All right, so yeah, so that first pass really was really close, so. So this type of razor, you probably don't need to do three passes, because one, one or two passes will be just about enough for a decent shave. So slants are a little bit, um, I wouldn't say they're difficult to use, but they definitely have a little bit of a learning curve 
versus a traditional uh, safety razor. But people tend to see, people have a tendency to want to turn the razor, but to, to shave in a slant, you just want to basically say, shave, you know, with the head, the, you know, the open comb, you know, square on your face, where, you know, just like you're shaving with a, with a regular Sith razor, and just let the slant do the work for you. All right, so. And slants are very efficient shavers. This one, um, I also have a 37 German slant from Razor Rock, which is very efficient. That I stuck on, I bought the head and I stuck it on a Monitor Razor. Um, it was a Monitor Razor that I got from Amazon. Didn't like the Razor head, didn't like the top, you know, the head and the cap and the bottom plate. So I just tossed that away and just got, just put the handle on the uh, 37 slant Razor Rock head and it shaves. Uh, beautifully. That's my other thing I have. So definitely great shavers, very efficient shavers slants are. Especially this one being an open comb. Yeah, definitely, definitely very, very close. It's almost like, actually it is baby bomb smooth, but that first pass was almost there, so. So anyway, the scent notes on this, didn't really describe them, but to me it smells like cool water by, you know, the cool water cologne by Devonoff, but from Michael Riley's website, the notes, um, I got the scent notes, and the top notes are, he describes this brisk blend of mandarin, lavender, and green botanica. And the mid notes, it, he describes as being basil, geranium, and sage. And your base notes are a woody combination of sandalwood, rosewood, and amber. So pretty complex. list of scent notes here, but definitely has a cologne type scent. I would say pretty, pretty darn close with a uh, cool water cologne. So if you like cool water or green orange tweed, this would be your, a soap you would probably like. And scent strength is probably about an eight. It's pretty strong. Probably about maybe eight or nine, because definitely the whole bathroom smells like cool water. Just from lathering the first two lathers of my face, and actually lathering the brush, loading the brush, and then lathering my face, it's, it smells like cool water in the whole bathroom, so I would say about nine. And so far, no tingling or irritation in the soap. So usually, like the stronger soaps, sometimes I have a reaction on my face from that from the uh, oils and stuff they use. But pretty, pretty darn, pretty darn mild for um, for having a reaction on my face. I don't have any reaction, so so that's a plus for that. Great smell, great smelling soap, strong, no reaction, no irritation. So I would definitely give this one a thumbs up. So let me go underneath the uh, two bull holes here, or as I like to usually call them, the gills. So an interesting, interesting fact, when I was swimming with the dolphins um, in Grand Cayman, you know, the sounds they make, you know, like the, the uh, screeching and stuff. I used to think they always made it from their mouth, but actually all those sounds come from the, from the blowhole behind their 
behind their heads. So, so that was a thing. I, that was a new thing I learned from my trip and also from swimming with the dolphins. So it was pretty cool. And you're really cool. You get to appreciate the animals more. And I mean, dolphins in general are, are such smart animals that it was just an experience that I would not that I can scratch off my bucket list. So guys, that was a good good shave. Let me go ahead and rinse my face. And pretty smooth shave. And I'll be back for the post shave. Be right back. All right guys, I'm back for my post shave. So my aftershave I'll be using, I don't have the aftershave to match the soap, but I do have something that's similar to the scent of it. And it's a great aftershave you can find in every drugstore. And this is Aqua Velva Ice Sport. So this stuff is pretty close to the scent. Let me go ahead and rinse this, go ahead and shake this up here. And this is an alcohol-based aftershave, so I'll probably get a little bit of burn from this. But the shave was really, surprisingly, very, very, very close. I mean, I only had to do two passes on my shave. And I got a few weepers right here, but but that's what um, skeleton sticks are for. So I use those on those weepers, and they're gone. So let me go ahead and put that post-shave on here, the aftershave. Very nice. Yeah, very nice scent. Very nice refreshing. Yeah, so I think, I'm not sure. I think this has menthol in it because I feel a little bit of cooling from my face from this, but it feels really nice. So, recap my shave, which was a glorious shave, awesome shave, with some awesome soap. I use this first line uh, shave soap by Michael Riley, um, artisan out of St. Louis. Great stuff, great scent, and yeah, definitely a dead ringer for cool water. Um, maybe green Irish tweed a little bit, but more definitely toward cool water, the cologne type scent. But just a great, great soap, great lathering soap there. And I use my uh, three piece. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. It's the open comb uh, slant big light razor. And if you go to his website on PA, it talks about the history of Bakelite, the material that they made this razor out of. So um, definitely check out the razor on, on Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements website. But it talks about the the uh, when Bakelite first came about before World War, I wanna say before World War One or World War, I think World War One it came out or World War II, I can't remember, but definitely he talks about the history of, of Bakelite and how it came about, so it's kind of interesting to read that. But check out his website. And this brush I used was my Old Faithful brush, which is my Game Changer, made by AMAC. So this is the black uh, Game Changer Synthetic Knot, 24 millimeter, and this thing is just a superb, superb knot. G plenty of backbone. Uh, just soft, very nice, very great for lathering uh, hard soaps, creams, just about anything. This is a great knot. And this is my South Florida Weight Shavers version right there with the South Florida Weight Shavers logo on the bottom there. Just a great looking brush. And of course, the blade I used was a feather blade. And I think last time I used in this razor was, I want to say I used a derby blade so I didn't get the weepers I have right now but I don't I don't remember the shape being as close so definitely definitely this blade is a great great blade with that razor but definitely you gotta make, take your time because that's, those blades will bite you in this razor and I got a few weepers right here and right here on my chin but man nice smooth shave uh, baby bottom smooth shave well that's my shave guys for tonight um, thanks for joining me. Thanks for thanks for subscribing to my channel and watching my videos. I noticed a, I noticed a few new subscribers on my channel, so welcome guys. Thanks for following me on my on my little trips, my little um, adventures in wet shaving, and also checking out new places in Florida. But definitely check my um, channel out. I'll have new content coming up soon, and I hope you guys have a good great week. Guys, stay safe. Take care.